what is up guys it is your boy main mania and i am in a huge 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 rush ladies and gentlemen we're at the top of the normal tower but we're gonna switch things up a little bit today we've got a no fusion mk11 Liu Kang that we're gonna give a shot to and, we're, and i'll explain that to you guys why but here's the equipment we're running with we've got noob as our backup damage dealer and uh, providing us that lucky shield, that lucky hat shield. You've got MK11 Liu Kang with support equipment and then Scorpion as our damage dealer. Hey, listen. The reason we're rocking with MK11 Liu Kang is because of his passive. His passive makes it so that they cannot dodge attacks. And Mr. Stunt Double Johnny over there likes to do that. So that is our, that's gonna be our way to counter that kind of thing. And we have 15 seconds of that plus the 15 seconds of luck from the Widowmaker. So we're going to use those both hand in hand to make sure that they do not get a chance to run or dodge and waste my damn specials. Wasting my specials is not okay. I want the kill on Joker because if he tags out, he's going to heal. That should be the death. We go noob. Basic attack only right now. Block. All right, we'll do this. Cause death mark, and we're going to tag right out. And now we know that he can't dodge because these are all going to count as sneak attacks. He will still get his temporary health, but nothing we can do to stop that. That is what it is. He's going to get that temporary health three different times of the match. And as soon as we run out of luck, we'll know that he's going to be able to start dodging our attacks again. So we just ran out of luck and we know that he's going to be able to start dodging now. So now we're going to swap out and hope Raiden does not come in and absolutely demolish us. We're going to try to cycle our special ones right here. We're literally trying to cycle these special ones to make sure that we're protected against Raiden's special two. Beautiful. We're melting right now. We're doing a great job. I think we're going to be able to do this in one. But we're not going to count our chickens before they egg. All right. We're not taking chances with you. We have plenty of time. So we're going to go ahead. Pause one more death mark. Get one more combo ender in. Now we tag out. And now it should be open season. Nowhere to go except for this stupid shield. Whoops. I got a little antsy right there. I forgot that he was going to get that shield again. So I uh, I stopped attacking a little bit too quickly, but didn't stop us from getting the one shot, boys. So there we go. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I know I was in a rush. I apologize. I was just trying to spitball through it, but Zero Fusion MK11 Liu Kang already making a difference. Already making a difference. This will be a phenomenal team to run in Fatal 200, but I don't know if I'm going to be that bold yet because Fatal 200 is definitely going to be a lot harder than this boss fight. But we did it in one random diamond time. Y'all know what to do. I need y'all to cross your fingers for your boy. Hey, and we get a fire reward, baby. Classic rain for the boy main. Love it. Love it. Fuse that thing for me, boy. Fuse it for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me try to get these last couple of battles in real quick. All right. So got our battles out of the way just before the refresh. And uh, where does that leave us, guys? Where does that leave us? It leaves us with a very strong diamond that we just got. We just got one of the top three diamonds in the game in Classic Rain. Uh, we got him at a pretty decent level now where we can start using him in boss fights more comfortably. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, the combination of him with Injustice 2 Raiden is going to be devastating. You add somebody like Classic Liu Kang to the mix on the support side or even Spec Op Scorpion to uh, give them a resurrection. And you're looking really good, man. You're looking really good. So, um... I'm looking forward to giving them a try at maybe one of these uh, boss fights and seeing what they can do together. So really excited about that. I actually just started working on Injustice 2 Raiden's uh, 
faction war wins. I finished maxing out the homie noob. And now we're working on Injustice 2 Raiden and uh, his faction war wins. He's well off, though. He's like under I think he's at like under 150 faction war wins. So we're not going to be able to finish that last feat of strength for a very long time. And Raiden is unfortunately one of the characters in the game that requires 3000 combo enders, which I still think is an obnoxious number. Obnoxious. 3,000 combo enders is obnoxious. 2,000 is still obnoxious, but much more feasible. So um, I don't anticipate us maxing out his feats of strength anytime soon. I think Classic Raiden is probably going to be the only Raiden that, um, that gets that feat of strength maxed out because of how much I have used him uh, coming up. I used to rock with um, Classic Raiden, Ravenous Melina, the three of them, uh, constant back and forth tagging attacks. Uh, Assassin Katana was also my third in there. So I had Assassin Katana, Assassin Jade, Ravenous Melina, and Classic Raiden. Those four characters, I used to use different variations of those four. Um, and before I started bringing in Freddy. But I used to use the uh, var variations of those four. And those would be my, you know, my faction war teams and my uh, boss teams. Uh, when we were just starting out and, and and these boss fights just became a thing so um so yeah I, i've gotten a lot of time in on them you know i was able to get all of their combo enders and stuff because of how much i used to play them especially when i was grinding those katana kills for ravenous melina and especially when i was uh grinding classic raiden so that he can get the um the shinnok kills shinnok was a very rare character before vengeful shinnok even became a character you would almost never see a Bone Shaper Shinnok. So grinding Classic Raiden for those Shinnok kills, um, that took a while. You know, that took a while. And thankfully, there's two Shinnoks now. But the whole community has been waiting on Corrupted Shinnok, the Diamond, for however long. You know, he got voted in in the polls to be one of the next Diamond characters. And we never got him. We never got him. So let's hope we do see Corrupted Shinnok one day. Um, I do love the fact that they're introducing new characters that none of us thought about. I love that they brought in Joker. When everybody was expecting MK11 Melina, you know, uh, uh, Injustice 2 Sub-Zero, Corrupted Shinnok, when everyone was expecting those three, right? Maybe even MK11 Katana. Instead, we got Joker and MK11 Liu Kang, which nobody asked for, but still. Uh, I like that they're surprising us with stuff. We also got, you know, a, a Denian Blood Katana, who's a gold. I don't know if she's going to have a paid pack or be available with souls. But if you judge by Classic Noob, Classic Shang, um, and the Lizard team, most likely they won't have a souls pack for a while. Uh, we had those amazing packs for the anniversary, you know, that included some of the newer diamonds in. And those packs were so amazing that I asked myself, was that a sign of more to come from the devs? Uh, and then, we, you know, which would hint to a Lizard Souls pack um, for the Lizard team and things like that. You know, we did finally get a pack for the Combat Cup team, which includes, you know, uh, Combat Cup Cassie. Um, but I'm wondering if the Lizard team is next. Will we see a Souls pack for the Lizard team next now that new golds are being introduced and we finally saw some brand new packs to the store to the store in the anniversary another big question we have is will those packs come back right i forget what it was called the divine poppycock pack right whatever it was called will they come back will those anniversary packs that we saw that included some new characters and finally gave the veterans Something to spend their souls on without fear of sellbacks. Will those packs make their way back into the store, into rotation? Will they come back on holidays? Will they come back for 4th of July? Will they come back for Black Friday? Will they come back for Christmas? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I hope they're not those one-time only packs that, you know, you see now and you may not see again for two to three years. So, um encouraging stuff is the point encouraging stuff you know we we definitely voice our frustrations about things going on with this game but you also have to sing praises when they're due 
and they knocked it out of the park with the packs for the anniversary so big kudos to the devs on that hopefully that's a sign of more of that to come more new packs more creating opportunity for players to get characters that they don't already have um, i'm really hoping that that was a hint of 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 a new direction for the game you know and when i talk about new directions of the game you know this is why i talk about sellback protection so much this is why i talk about you know um um you know uh 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 making changes to the systems and and making changes to you know the combat pass and even the ascension system as a whole uh because once again for a small while you know maybe a two to three year period this game was in a really bad state you know it wasn't innovating it wasn't exciting there was more of the same nothing really new uh and, and positive for the for the player base you know they introduced a lot of things that were downgrades you know they they introduced pack limitations which reduced our abilities to grow our collections and then they introduced an ascension system that basically says you can only do this to this one character so everybody's doing the same thing but that's not fun there's no fun in the game when everybody's doing the same thing you know players need to have their individuality players need to go after the characters that they like that they enjoy you know pe people want to build their favorites they don't necessarily just want to build they want to build their favorites you know somebody may say i hate dark raiden i don't want to level up dark raiden i'd rather level up flaming fist Liu kang he's my favorite Liu kang in the game so giving players options is a beautiful thing and Hopefully the devs will open up their eyes to that and we'll bring more of that in the future. All we could do is remain hopeful and, uh, you know, stay vocal. You know, the devs have to hear it. You can't just think it, guys. You got to speak it. You got to speak it into existence and you've got to spread the word and you've got to, you know, share the ideas if, if you have them, you know, because that's the only way things are going to get done. Sometimes they don't see what you see. And I know I've been playing this game long enough that I see a lot about this game that could change for the better. And that's what um you know that's what i'm out to do i'm out to make this game better for all players for the entire player base i want everyone to enjoy this game way more and if you enjoying the game means that you're encouraged to spend more money in the game because you want to support the devs and support all the positive changes coming then that's what the devs need to kind of open up their eyes to and use as their motivation too the happier the players are the more willing they're going to be to spend money in this game you know what i'm saying so uh stop catering to the whales and start catering to the general player base and you'll create more whales you'll create more paid players you'll you'll create more players that are willing to buy a pack here and there whereas they may never have done that because they just were very frustrated and not getting too much fulfillment from the game so anyhow guys really excited about my reward today i uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode as always you know i always try to bring you guys some heat and uh keep you guys entertained with these videos so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys leave a like to show your boy some love if you want to show extra love, you can do so with the join button or the thanks button. And as always, make sure you subscribe if you're new, if you're newer to my page, newer to my content, newer to my everything. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, and I will see you guys next time with Main Mania.